you're wondering why I'm dressed like that and have makeup on. Well, as you know that I work in the social media industry since mid-2019, and I'm constantly looking at ways to improve myself in terms of creating my own content. So we have a Halloween coming up October the 31st. So I thought I would do something that is related to that particular uh, holiday for children in terms of going out for a trick-or-treat. Um, so you can see that I have my powerful paper gun and this sharing with you my uh, memory back when I was a kid uh, learning uh, origami that's paper uh, making paper toys out of it and this is what we did as a child because you know we didn't have many toys so we make paper toys out of uh, whatever we learn and basically it's just some scrap paper or a newspaper that I put together and made the barrels the body the um, back part of it and even I have a telescope <laughs> so this is just doing it for fun in terms of learning to develop my own content and understanding the social media industry. There's many roles in terms of uh, the social media industry. It's a, it's a huge industry. So from a producer, which is what I've done is just created my own story that I'm telling, sharing my childhood story in terms of... Uh, uh, you know, the toys that we make from paper and the uh, um, tradition in terms of the Canadian North America Halloween, which kids dress up, dress up as costumes and go out and uh, get candy. We used to do that as kids. At that time, we didn't have so much uh, costume and things like that. So I made this gun and I had some clothes in terms of um, uh, what I have and then it's suitable for what I the role that I'm trying to portray is that I may uh, uh, on a special mission right military related you can associate it with it um, so this is I did a uh, just self makeup so in terms of social media you have makeup artists doing makeup for the actors in that particular role so I did it just for the fun of it. I went to the dollar shop, picked up um, some kids makeup and just <laughs> made a fool of, fool of myself and wore some fatigue um, army uh, style clothing that I have and uh, made this video. So I, it, the hope is that, you know, to develop my averse, the diversity in terms of my character, that if I uh, try to market myself as someone that a casting director or producer is looking for they can uh, hopefully you know hire me on on their work right so it's the stylist so stylist is the one that puts all the um, outfits together for that particular role so I have been learning a lot in terms of the social media industry and at the beginning you know you go in there not really knowing what to expect uh, but you know I'm constantly learning you know I'm doing the lighting aspect of it and then my background so there's many aspects that I'm learning myself and doing self tape auditions which th this video is a type of thing that most people in terms of working in that industry they have to do a self tape audition submit it to the agency and the agency would uh, forward it to the casting director and the casting director would look at all the submitted candidates and then they would choose whatever they feel is suitable for that particular role, right? And then once you get on the set, you have makeup artists that are doing your makeup for you. You have stylists that um, would uh, put certain clothes that portray that particular role and props. So props in this particular case is just 
a gun, paper gun that I created. And then also lighting. I have in front of me a white light. Background, video editing. It's not just simply what uh, people portray is, you know, there are some very simple um, social media content, but it can be very elaborate and very involved with a lot of people. And it, of course, money and resources part and partial of that, right? So I'm just sharing with you some fun aspect of the content that I created. Um, and hopefully that, you know, developing my own uh, skill set, then I'll be able to get more work in the social media industry and I hope uh, you know this is fun for people that are watching it and I'm gonna go on a special mission it's called the man with the paper gun and the mission is uh, mission possible because I'm gonna go and scare some kid and take some candy away from them during the Halloween <laughs> thank you so much have a great day